these things are too powerful. There, I said it, at least I think so. I still like them though. However, I don't think I could switch to them. I promise I'm going to do a more detailed review on the new third generation Yola paddle soon and give you more detailed thoughts. The only reason I'm not is because the ones that I have here are not the finalized versions with the proper graphics, colors, edge guard, etc. So, you know, the commercial versions might change a little bit. I got these alpha versions from when I went to their invite release event a little while back. Now, I was told that these alpha models I'm holding are essentially the same ones that will be released to the public for purchase, but I wanted to wait and form that opinion on my own when I receive the actual ones to compare. I will tell you that these things are incredibly Incredibly powerful and incredibly poppy with a more plush feel. It really does feel like you are hitting the ball with a trampoline. It sounds very different than most other honeycomb paddles you are used to. Yes, this paddle still uses honeycomb in its core, but the core is now suspended at the top by a layer of foam surrounding it. It's essentially a floating core and I like it. I like the power, I like the grit, I like the design, and I would really like it if you hit that like button and the sub to the channel. Thanks. So yeah, I like the paddle. I think it's incredibly fun to play with here and there, but I wouldn't switch to it. I think it's too powerful for me to control consistently, especially at those really high levels of play. I personally don't think it's great for the pickleball game like as a whole, and I'll maybe touch base on that more in the full review or on the Pickleball Studio podcast, so tune in for that. But what do I know? I'm just a guy on the internet giving opinions about how to hit a plastic wiffle ball over a net with wood, plastic, and a plethora of other materials. So I decided to ask some local players to see what they think about the new Gen 3 Yola paddles. Note that I only have the Perseus 3 16mm, Perseus 3 14mm, and the Magnus 3 16mm. I have played with all the other shapes and thicknesses and there are some stark differences between a few of them that I will go over in the full review in a later video, but until then you're just gonna have to bear with me and see how some of the locals here in my area like the ones that I just mentioned. Before you see what the locals think, write down in the comments if you think most people are going to like these paddles or not. My personal guess is that they're going to love it initially. Maybe the sound will be a bit jarring, but they will say that they have a tough time controlling it. So let's take a look. So I like it um, actually more than the first Yola I had, uh, the very first one, because it, it took some getting used to. I played with the Magnus and I like it. The new Yola paddle is perfectly adequate for my needs. <laughs> Yeah, I played with the Magnus. It was pretty good. Do you like it? Oh, I love it. It's great. Do you like it? T I do it... like it. I do have the vice, which I love. What do you think of it? So I think it feels a lot like the purchase that I have right now. It feels like it's got a little more touch and it feels a little more balanced everywhere. We've already bought two Yolas. They're my favorite, right? And I actually saw that they were releasing their new line and I'm glad you're here tonight, Will, yep. because like I like the 14s. They're light, they don't give me tennis elbow. What I like about uh, many paddles that I pick up is can I feel comfortable with it immediately or do I feel like, yeah, maybe in six months I can get used to it. But this, I picked it up right away. I felt uh, very comfortable right away. The ball was going where I wanted it to go. It's got good pop and it's one that I would have no problem using. I usually don't play with an elongated paddle, but it was really forgiving, felt plenty stable, and has plenty of room for two hands on the handle. It's really poppy, but it's not out of control. I like it. It was a little more poppy, had a little more power than my normal paddle, which is a control paddle, but I didn't have to give up too much uh, control for it. I liked it. It was a little springy, but it'll probably wear out of that. And I like it, it was great. I like the grit on this, mm -hmm. so you can feel there's a little bit of a grit, which I think is an added bonus. But the handle, I, I'm not sure why, but it just feels better. I feel like it has a lot more spin. Okay. I think it's got a lot more uh, catch on it. Sticks a little bit more and goes more where I want it to. I mean, you can just tell the, the grip, the touch and everything. So I've been playing with a paddle tech for the longest. Mm. 10 fifths, wave per, something like that. This, this is great. Love it. Might take a little uh, getting used to, uh, but not much. And I just felt like this paddle like was smooth, effortless, and uh, I want to look at your other ones, but I really might buy this. <laughs> like, Not sure about the power. I you have the 16 millimeter, and this is the 14 millimeter, so I'd be curious to try the 16 millimeter as well. Do you have any problems controlling it, dinking with it? No, not at all. I feel like the foam paddle makes you have to put less effort for it. Um, on your drives and other things. So I think, and it also, to me, causes less vibration or potential issues for the hand. Would you switch to it? 
Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I've had my Percy's for a long time now, so I'm excited to get the new one. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Wow, okay, I was dead wrong. Everyone seems to really like it, which, okay, I was actually not wrong about. What I was wrong about was people being able to control the paddle. Everyone I spoke to seemed to say they did not have a tough time controlling the paddles, which I'm not gonna lie, surprised me a little bit. Now, I want to briefly preface that everyone I let try the paddle only had one game with them, and they never faced another opponent with another Yola Gen 3 paddle, like on the other side of the court. Now, when I first played with this paddle, it took me at least, I don't know, three games to sort of feel comfortable with them. Uh, that could be because all four players on the court had one. And when all four players have one of these like alphas, the game can be very fast and incredibly hard to like play the soft slash control game. However, if you like to drive and speed up the ball, you'll like this paddle. Lots of spin and lots of power. If you can control it and are willing to drop $275, you'll definitely have a weapon. If you can't control it or can't drop $275, better buy some protective eyewear if you see this paddle on the other side of the net because man, this thing can really just fly at you if someone on the other side knows how to hit a decent drive. All right, hope you all enjoyed the video. Until next time, play better. Peace.